it's Miss Teacher Teaches Tech here and today I'm going to talk to you about what Google Drive is. For those of you who are new to my channel, I am a 7th grade ELA teacher in the state of North Carolina and I do these videos to show you guys how to integrate tech into your classroom. Let's get started. So what many people believe that Google Drive is, is they think it's a platform provided by Google that allows you to store, edit, and share your files. And that's true, but it's actually much more than that. Today, I'm gonna to show you the ins and outs of Google Drive and how you can use it to increase your productivity as a teacher or a professional. So the good thing about Google Drive is that you can access your files from any device. This includes iPad, iPhone, Mac, Windows desktop, Android phone, Chromebook, or a tablet. You can sign in on your account from any device and access your files right where you left them. If I'm in a meeting and I left my laptop in my classroom and I have to edit an important document, I can pull that up on my phone and edit it from there. Same goes if I'm outside on a sunny weekend and I want to just add something to my document real quick. I can do that without having to go inside and lug a laptop out, simply just opening the Google Drive app on my phone and making those edits. I can not only access the files that are already uploaded on my drive, but I can also add files from any device as well. All you gotta do is just go to the plus button to the top left hand corner of the screen and select the file that you wanna upload. This can be a photo, a movie, a GIF, a Word document, a PowerPoint, zip file, whatever. You can also share documents with whomever you choose. All you need is their email address and they will get a notification in their email stating that they've been invited to edit the document that you just shared. Depending on what permissions you have set for them, they can either edit the files, provide comments on the files, or only view the files. If you allow them to edit the files, you can see their edits in real time and even go to the version history to see who edited what and at what time and day. This is good for collaborating on projects, sharing ideas and information, and keeping a meeting agenda. This also goes with Google Slides, Google Sheets, and many more. If you allow people to provide comments, they cannot edit your document in any way, shape, or form, but they can add comments to the side of the document to provide any feedback or suggestions for changes. If you choose View Only, the viewer can only see the document. They cannot edit it or provide any comments whatsoever. You can also create folders to organize your work. You can give them a name, change their color, and if you wanna get super organized and have some type of aesthetic, you can add emojis and images to their title to keep everything ordered and neat. Just like with files, you can share an entire folder by inviting a person with their email to do so. They will be able to access everything inside of that folder. Let's just say that you and one or maybe two other teachers on your team want to create engaging material for the upcoming school year, but you don't want to have to consistently share files with each other, which risks documents getting lost. You could create a share drive, which allows you and the people that you've invited to share a drive or a space on Google Drive that allows you to see everything that you want the other person or the other persons to see and or edit. I highly recommend this option if you're working on one or multiple units together so that all the files you want the both of you or the other teachers to access is available and it's in one spot. This is so you don't have to worry about sharing the document with the other people individually. As long as they have access to that shared drive, they can see all of the content that you guys have put in. If you have your permissions activated, they can also edit those files as well. So Google Drive works seamlessly with Google Classroom. If you created a Google Slides presentation that you would like your other students to review for their upcoming test, you can simply attach the file by clicking on the Google Drive icon and selecting the file from your drive. If you wanted to give an assignment where students could record their answers, but you don't want them editing your copy directly, you can assign the file as their assignment and select create a copy for each student. This will give them their own copy to work with so that way they are not editing or deleting anything on yours and they don't have to worry about other students editing the same document. They have their own and they can turn it in on Google Classroom once they're done. Don't have Google Classroom? No problem. If you're wanting to upload your file to your own educational platform, you can open the file and then select file and then convert the document into a PDF. This will keep everything on your document while giving the recipient the ability to add their answers on the document using a PDF markup editor. On Mac, this would be a program called Preview, and on iPad, it's just the pin icon located in the top right-hand corner when the document opens. 
On Chromebook, you can add a Google Web Store extension app called Cami through your Google Drive that allows you to make annotations and add interactive elements. If you're interested in receiving a Cami teacher certification, click the link down in the description box below. Not only is getting the certification helpful in teaching you how to annotate documents using your Chromebook or Chrome web browser, but it's also free and is beneficial when integrating tech into your classroom. You'll also get a cute little badge that you can use on your resume or email signature. So go check that out now. This video is not sponsored. So for those of you Google Drive newbies out there, I hope that this video gave you some insight and some helpful tips on what Google Drive is and how to actually use that within your profession or in teaching. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop those in the comment box down below, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you guys so much and have a good one. Bye.